Welcome to the Sons and Daughters of Liberty. We'll be continuing our Make Men Great Again series, What It Means to Be a Man. Tonight's episode, or today's episode is on to become a pillar of the community. And I want to discuss a few, you know, some things that we should be educating our young men, teenage boys, in the ways to become more leading them to more in leadership roles and being one to be more part of the community and to become those pillars of the community that we look look to. The importance of being role models as well. Some of that starts with being teaching, you know, our young men that it's okay to be polite. Being polite does not make you a beta. Being polite and respectful is a key, is very key in being successful as a male in life. Knowing when to be and when not to be. Teaching them that, you know, it's important to respect our women. Show them and be polite, courteous, pull a chair out for them before, so they can set down before we set down, you know. Those are important things to instill upon a man. It does not make you a beta. In fact, it makes you very much an alpha. You know, knowing, t- t- talking to other people with respect. Addressing them properly, sir, ma'am, miss, respecting your elders, not allowing your temper to get the best of you when you are when you feel slighted or disrespected. But it's also important to understand that you need to know when to choose your battles, when to stand your ground. These are very important things to learn, to teach. Teaching that these things will help them know when to be, when they encounter a challenging situation, when to be respectful, but yet dominant, authoritative. Being able to find that common ground using proper language to drive your point home. Because most people, they don't know how to counter nice language. Knowing that, you know, just because a person may wear leather jackets, they have long hair, scraggly beards, I mean, yeah, it it makes you look manly. But there's where looks can be deceiving, because that could be the most politest person you'll ever meet. You know, learn not to be offended by words. Learn that you have the right to express yourself. Now, we've grown up in this day and age where people look at showing certain emotions as weak, beta. Teach them that emotions are tools to be used properly. They can be very powerful tools. You know, yes, we see aggression and anger and we apply that to the alpha state. But love and compassion is also part of an alpha, the way an alpha protects its pack, its family, its friends. That is those emotions coming up. Knowing to harness them and use them will give you strength. You know, we should be teaching our kids young boys and men, they need to be role models. And to become role models, it's the understanding that in life, life is about choices. 
And for every choice there's a consequence, whether good or bad. It is how we react to those choices. It's how we react to those consequences. Just because we have a bad result from a choice, it is a learning experience. It teaches us where we went wrong. There's nothing wrong at falling down. It teaches us to get back up and not repeat those mistakes. You know, my young, younger, younger days, teenage days, I made all the bad choices. Even when it seemed like I was making a good choice, it ended up being a bad choice. But my problem was I wasn't learning from those mistakes. So I just keep repeating them. This is the reason I'm going to bring this up, because that's how the people view you. Especially if you live in small towns or communities, they're going to view you as that screw-up. That person that always does the wrong thing. Or that person that just, he'll, he'll, he doesn't have a backbone. He won't stand up for what he believes in. These are the things we need to express to our young men. That as you're growing up, people are going to remember the things you do, the choices you make. And if you're out there going to be doing stupid things, it's going to follow you for most of your life until you leave that community. And the more the stupider the things you do, the worse it follows you. If you end up committing a crime, that's going to stick with you. The community is always going to view you as that thief. Or that person that was drinking all the time and got in a car accident and killed somebody. These are the choices you have to realize. They will follow you the rest of your life. Your communities will view you of, the, of this. And the smaller the community, the more likely, the longer it will take for them to forget. You have to work twice as hard to rebuild that identity, rebuild that respect, rebuild and regain that trust within that community. You know, sometimes have me having the bad guy image is not the great image to have, because people won't see past that. They'll always see you that, so they won't look to you in a leadership role. They won't look to you in a role that's fitting for the community. But it is about the choices we make when we're younger. Believe me, I'm still haunted by some of the choices I've made. You know, granted, I am not that same person anymore. I've learned, but the damage has been done. You know, walk in and try to get some jobs around here. The first thing they, they, as soon as they hear my name, oh, that was that guy. No. Well, yeah, that was that guy 20 years ago. I'm not the same person anymore. Back then, I was a monster. I might be the first to tell you that. I mean, I was a monster monster. And I paid for it. And that's some of the realizations, you know. We all go through our crucibles. I went through one that made me realize a few things. And unfortunately, a lot of times, we don't, some people just don't, figure it out until they finally dig that grave all the way down and they hit rock bottom, then it's a choice. Lie in that grave or start climbing your way out and it's going to be a long climb out. And even once you get out, you're still going to be fighting every day to regain that trust, that respect, the things that was lost because of the choices you made, because you refuse to change and learn from your bad mistakes. They're always going to look at you and view you as those things. You literally got to give it 150%, sometimes 200% to 
effort to show them you've changed. And it starts by making, changing yourself and living that change every day. Not repeating none of the mistakes that put you in those positions in the first place. I mean, it's a humbling experience, but at the same time, it gets old. So it is important to understand when you make choices, understand the consequences of them. To become a role model, a leader, and a pillar of the community, you have to have, you have to be trustworthy. They gotta trust you. They gotta be, they wanna look at you and see that this person, when he gives his word, he does it. Your word is your most powerful tool. When you tell somebody you're going to do something, you do it. Or if something comes up and you can't, call them, let them know, hey, this came up, can, can we reschedule this? You start setting those ethics, those morals, and as you're, when you're young, they will help you to succeed in life. They will help you be a strong, firm pillar in the community. People that people are going to look for, for advice, for wisdom, for leadership. You know, these are the th things, you know, and I'm not saying all communities like that. Some people, some communities, depends on your community, some people will say, well, I, I know this guy. He was a monster, but look at him now. He's grown, he's changed, and he's done so much. But you've got to keep living that, because they're always going to, that, in their back of their head, they're just going to wonder, when are you going to screw up again? Trust me, I know. I get it thrown in my face all the time. You know, no matter how much I've changed, in their back of their mind, it's always there. You know. And it, you know, why am I telling you about this? Because it's important for you to understand that. Sometimes the consequences will affect you the rest of your life. You know. I've got people now that can't, don't even recognize the person that I've become from what I used to be. It's a complete 360 from what I was. But unfortunately, I had to take a very dark path to get there. I had to fall completely. And I had to want to change. Nobody's going to change until they reach that point where they know it's either change or you're just not going to be living much longer on this earth. And that's the sad reality of it. You know, then when you do start making change, it's not easy. Because you're always being judged by that person you were. The things that you've done. That's why it's important to learn respect. It's, it's important to give respect. Even when you're feeling you're being disrespectful, find a way to take the higher ground and be respectful but also no there is a point where it goes too far and you have to take a stand you know I try to play things by the three strike rule I mean I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to defend yourself when to react but be slow to react in certain circumstances. In certain circumstances, you best be fast to react. And this comes with experience. It comes as you grow and learn. Yeah. It teaches you how to know when a situation is means to actually have to fight and not. There is a difference. And you'll know when the situation comes. Try not to be the first guy that throws the first punch. 
but also don't be the guy that gets hit by the first punch either. You know, use your mind. Your mind is a powerful tool. Most circumstances, you can talk your way out of a situation. Some circumstances, especially these days of age, firm words and a firm tone can diffuse the situation just as easier than balling up your fist and throwing a fist. That sets us apart from the betas. That makes you an alpha when you know how to use your voice to command in a commanding tone or in a stern tone to essentially diffuse the situation because a lot of these betas out there they just want to provoke you they want you to react they want you to throw a punch they want you to do something stupid so they can tarnish your name so they can have you get a record so it's not you got to be smart and sometimes it might just have to be. It might come down to that. I'm not, I don't tell you, telling you to be soft one bit. You are a man. But be smart in your decisions and your choices. Know that everything you do, there's consequences to. They're not always going to be good. They're going to be, sometimes they're going to be bad. But even the bad ones are a learning experience. They teach you how not to make those same mistakes. They teach you how to be a better man. So don't get down on yourself when, you know, you made a bad choice. We all make them. It's learning and knowing that, okay, I made a bad choice. I own up to it. You know, here's the first, my first word of advice for you guys. You know, most of the young kids, we like to I know how it was. I was young once. I both loved to party. I did too much of it. I abused it. We get in the habit of blaming it on the drugs, the alcohol, the addictions. <laughs> We're always blaming something else besides ourselves. And the truth is, this was the hardest lesson I had to learn in life. is owning up to those choices and those consequences. The first part of being a man is being responsible and be owning up to those choices. I made that choice. Therefore, I chose the consequences that came with it. Teach yourself when you want to go to make a choice. Think about it. Think about the consequences. Okay, if I decide to have more than eight beers, should I be getting behind the wheel? Well, I know my body weight. I know how my tolerance for alcohol, eight beers, isn't nothing. I can still drive. I can still function, walk straight, talk straight. But if I get pulled over and have to blow a breathalyzer, no matter how well I can function, no matter how well I know my body, that law and that breathalyzer says I'm over the limit, so therefore there's a consequence coming. If I would get in, a, get in an accident, it doesn't have to be my fault. I could be driving somebody hits me. They smell alcohol in my breath. That's going to change everything. And you have to be willing to accept those responsibilities because you made that choice to get behind that wheel instead of doing the smart thing, okay, wait a few hours or call a cab or have somebody drive you home or call somebody to pick you up. Because there's nobody else to blame for you getting pulled over or you getting in an accident that wasn't your fault but you get nailed because you smell like alcohol. There's nobody to blame but you. Same way with weed and drugs, you know. We blame it on the... We always try to blame it on something. Learn to own up to your mistakes. Learn up to own up to the choices you made. By doing so, people will see that. But when you do that, they expect that you're not going to repeat that again and over and over. They're going to see that, okay, I made a mistake. 
you know, the reason why most relationships fail is because we don't own up to our mistakes. We don't own up to the choices we make. We look for an excuse. We don't communicate. Communication is important, even for males. It's more important for us males to have an open communication, not with just our our spouse and our kids, but with the community, with people around us, being able to communicate. We need to start teaching our men communication skills, how to communicate with others, even ones that we wouldn't get along with, how to show them respect, because people are going to see that, and they're going to view us differently, they're going to respect us for that. They're going to come to us for wisdom and advice. They're going to look at us as role models. And remember, that's why I'm trying not to smoke pipe, my pipe on stream now. I might occasionally grab the e-vape, which you know I can't stand. It's because even doing, start where I started doing this, it made me realize some of the things I even do live stream. You know, smoking the pipe, you know, but you know, plus my goal, my reason for smoking the pipe was because I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes, so I switched over to the pipe. Plus, I grew up where my grandfather smoked the pipe, and but the goal of that was to switch to the pipe and eventually quit. I'm not owning up to m myself and my what I said, so now I'm started with these streams because it seems to be when I smoke the most when I'm doing streams. I'm starting to cut that out. I'm starting to go longer without. That way I can quit. Because, you know, I don't realize, you know, I'm spending more time with my brother and his kids and stuff. Their kids, kids are looking up to me, and it's like, do I want to show them these bad habits? No, I don't. I learned a long time ago that I was the bad role model. I don't want to repeat that again. And so, you know, there's a lot of things we can do to improve ourselves. You know, eating healthy is important. Just as important. Because, you know, people see that in us. We reflect that to others. We fail. Sometimes I think we fail to realize how much people actually watch us, especially as men. You know, they, we mimic the things other men do, especially men that are successful, that we look to as leaders. We want to mimic that. And sometimes I guess we don't realize some of the bad habits that we have. We're also instilling them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with enjoying what you enjoy. So just realizing these things. You know, when it comes to showing emotion, I'm not the best one to explain that because I don't show emotions well. Never been known for that. In fact, I've been known more known for the one that, one that bottles them up all the time. That's dangerous, guys, because eventually they're going to release. And usually when they release, it's like, kind of like a form of blacking out. You've got all that build up and you just unload on a person. That person doesn't deserve that much unloading. You always find that the person you unload on is never, isn't the right one. I mean, there's plenty of people out there that deserve to be unloaded on like that. But you, it never happens to the right person. It's always the person that didn't deserve that much. And there's consequences to that. You know, the hardest part for us is learning choices and consequences. And it needs to be taught at the younger age. It needs to be taught, you know. Yes, it's important to be respectful, but it's also important to stand your ground on the things you believe in. But the most important part to all that is knowing that eventually 
maybe some of those things you believed in, those ideas you had, those beliefs, they may change later down the, down the road as you learn and grow and experience things. Do not be f afraid to change, to, to admit, yeah, that I was wrong in that ideology. I just wasn't experienced enough, had, didn't have the knowledge enough. I mean, for the time, that might have been perfect for you. It might be right where you needed to be. But as you grow, you're going to learn that some of those ideologies, some of those belief aspects were wrong and that need to be let go and changed. That's part of growing. That's a part of becoming a man, realizing these things. Do not be scared to question things. Question everything. Question yourself. Question why things make you react a certain way. It will make you a better person. It will make you less likely to react if the situation comes up again because now you understand why it triggered you, why it made you feel that way, why you reacted in that way. You know, as far as the relationship aspect size guys goes, I can't give you much advice on that one. I'm not the greatest per person in that department, obviously. But that's because of some of my ideologies. I'm more patient. I'm looking for the right one. Someone that shares the same ideologies I have. That's open person that's open enough to be able to communicate, no matter what it's about. Communication is so important in our lives. And I look for that equally in, the, in my partner. So, that's, you know, so I'm a little bit old-fashioned that way. I take my time with building relationships with people, especially if it's somebody I plan on being with. You know, I want to learn everything about that person. There's nothing wrong with that. Except for, you know, sometimes maybe you might be a little too slow at it, which has been my case over the years. I've been too slow. Even I, see, you should never stop learning. That's the other important part. Realize you're never going to stop learning. You're always going to be faced with things that cause you to have to change. We live in a changing world. Every day something's changing and we have to adapt to and make changes to it, to adapt. This is another important skill to teach to our young men early on. The ability to adapt and change. doesn't mean changing who you are. It means being able to think quicker. Change your thinking to adapt to your circumstances and your surroundings. And which will allow you more freedom, more, th more access to things. It'll keep you from some major confrontations, but it also keeps you on your toes, which is something that's very important in to being a pillar of the community. You must be able to change, adapt, live by example. Others will see that. They will look to you for those things. They'll come to you asking, well, this such and such is happening. They want to make these changes. What do you? What's your views and opinions? Then you freely express those things. Express your concerns or what you think would be good about it. Learn how to play devil's advocate. Weigh the pros and cons. Because for every choice, that's what it is. When you make a choice, there's pros and cons. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect choice. that choice is going to affect you and others around you. And that's the important part. Realize That's the most important part. Realizing that for every choice you make, it does not only affect you, but it affects those around you, people that know you. could even affect the people that, are, that you might encounter later down the road that you haven't yet encountered. So yes, choices are the most one of the most important things being a man. And the first part of it, not passing the buck onto anything else, not putting the blame on anything else. When you make a bad choice, own up to it. Be a man. I made a bad choice. I will not repeat it. 
This is where I went wrong. These are the mistakes I made. I won't repeat them. You know what? That bad choice was such just became an empowering tool. Something constructive instead of destructive. It didn't bring you down. It actually picked you up and gave you wisdom and knowledge so you don't repeat those mistakes again. In order to become a leader successful in life and a pillar of the community, you need to be able to be responsible for your choices. You know, and that's just the easiest way to put it. You know, just like I said, it goes back to effort. You're always going to be viewed by your actions and deeds. Do you keep your word? Are you the guy that stops out? Somebody's looks like somebody's having a little trouble with something. Looks like they could use hand. Are you the guy that stops and gets out, asks them they they need a hand? in the community that builds character that builds respect you know so things for you guys to think about like I said I've, I'm probably end up doing another one this week on this I'm going to have somebody else join me so they can give their perspective so like I said I can try to do this a week, every week once a week integrate new topics, new ideas, new thoughts. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's topics you'd like me to talk about, leave a, leave a message in the comments. And I will respond and do videos on those topics. Or if it's not a topic I care, that I experienced or have experienced, then I'll find somebody that can and invite them onto the podcast and let them describe just talk about it hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys on the next one